What's up everybody? This is John from Vintage Watch Hunter and I have a really special video for you today. Uh, I've been working for quite a while now on my um, Etsy keyword analyzer and I really want to help you guys uh, generate more revenue from your Etsy stores using my um, analyzer tool. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over how you can um, generate more revenue on Etsy by using the search query results that Etsy provides for every seller on their platform. Now unfortunately, Etsy does not allow you to have any way to analyze this information, so that's where the analyzer comes in that I um, made. And uh, what we'll do is we're going to look at the analyzer today. Uh, we'll look at um, all the parts of the analyzer, how to use it, and then how to take that information, take that data, and turn it into um, a way to increase your revenue on Etsy. Okay, so here is um, my Etsy um, analyzer tool, my search query analyzer tool. The first thing I would like you to do is go down into the description of this video and click on the analyzer tool by Vintage Watch Hunter. Now what that's gonna do is just open up a Google Sheet just like we have here, okay? And in order to edit, all you're gonna have to do is file, click on file, and click on make a copy. Now when you do this, it will create a sheet in your own Google Drive and you'll be able to manipulate all of that data. Uh, right now, you're just looking at my data, so you won't be able to, okay? So that's the first thing we gotta do, and please do that now. We can go through all this together, and if you'd like, you can follow the steps with me um, to populating your own data into the sheet and then analyzing it. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We're really looking to grow as much as possible, and we would love to give you guys as much information about small businesses, about online businesses as possible. So please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Let's keep going. If you're not able to watch the video or you're not online at the time, I do have uh, some information here on how to uh, use this tool. So again, the first thing you wanna do is open up uh, the file into, into uh, Google Drive and then just make a copy of it. And when you do that, you'll have all of the information for yourself that you can edit and uh, make your own. So this keyword analyzer, it is going to increase the impressions or hopefully help you increase the impressions on your listings uh, and click the increase the click ratio on your listings and raise your position on your listings. Now, if you do this with my golden searches, I know that you are going to increase your sales and increase your revenue. OK, so when you do get um, to the sheet, what you're going to have to do is I would first add in your total listings. If you don't have a total listings here, right, this is all going to go away. All that information is going to go away because you need to have your number of listings so that we can figure out all of your metrics. So just make sure you have um, the number of listings in there and everything should work just fine. And then I've also put out a section here for uh, dates so you know uh, what dates you're analyzing. Okay, so again, um, we are trying to isolate our golden searches. These are searches that you can increase your performance of those searches. And so I have just some uh, tips for you real quick. Make sure you do not edit my three columns here for the click ratio, the percentage of listings, and the golden searches, okay? Because these cells have formulas in them. So if you delete the formula from the cell, you won't be able to generate all of the data that we are going to drive this analyzer with. So make sure you don't delete any of this. You're not going to really need it anyway. Once you put in your information in these cells, all of the information over here on the right is going to populate automatically. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, the next one is make sure you have everything sorted by impressions and you want to really just um, analyze the top 20 or 30 uh, impressions. I think anything up to uh, 200 impressions a month, right? So that's a couple searches a day that could increase your sales percentages um, by quite a bit. And the last thing, make sure you try and analyze this in some uh, interval, all right? And if you want to do it every month, do it every month. If you want to do it every week, do it every week. Whatever it is, just be consistent. So we'll take a look at the keyword analyzer first. Then we'll go to Etsy and we will figure out how to move your um, query analytics or search results to our analyzer here. Uh, so what I have is just a, a list in different columns of all the different attributes that you will find on Etsy. So the first one is the search query, the keywords. Uh, now these are all of the terms that users on Etsy have used to find your products. These are really, really important. Okay. The next column over are your impressions. Now this is the number of times your listing has appeared in an organic search. 
So that does not mean they've clicked on your picture or your photo, nothing like that. It just means that they went to a page where one of your products appeared. Next one is your position. Now this is the, um, the position where your item is located on Etsy in that given search. And what I found out is that there are about 70 to 75 listings per page on Etsy. So if you're within one to 75, that means you're gonna show up on the first page, um, 75 to 100, second page, so on and so forth, you get it. Okay, this one's really important. This column is for visits. So we'll just highlight this, actually, I'll, we'll start highlighting these. Um, so this is for visits. This is the number of customers that saw your item in a search result and clicked on your photo. So for example, what I have here for the keyword glasses frames, 4,727 times my items appeared in an Etsy search and only 15 people of those 4,727 clicked on my product. Okay, the next one. This one I really need to work on here. I'm doing really poorly on this one. This is the conversion rate from organic searches. Now, I do have sales on Etsy. Um, we do about $2,500 in sales a month right now on Etsy. And we are a watch business. Um, but we decided to grow our Etsy store with our, uh, with our glasses, with our glasses company, Grand & Garnett. The sales you see here are pretty much uh, like 99% glasses. There are a few watches left on my Etsy, um, Etsy page, but mostly it's glasses now. And we're just starting to build this out, so we're only doing about 2,500 a month. Um, but it looks like none of my conversions are coming from organic searches. All of my sales, or most of my sales, are coming from paid ads that I put on Etsy. So one thing that um, I have found from this uh, analyzer is that I'm gonna try and increase my conversions from organic searches. And that's what I want you guys to do as well. So let's keep going. Obviously revenue, how much money you generated from each of these keywords. Um, next one, G, the listings. Now this is the number of listings that you have in your store that will appear in that search result, okay, for that particular search keyword or search query, all right? Now, the next three um, columns are all what I have added to the Etsy um, analytics. And so this is the important uh, section, these three columns. This is what is going to help you generate revenue or a lot more revenue, hopefully, in your Etsy store. So the click ratio. Uh, this is something that I have developed. It's really simple, okay? And it's basically uh, the number of people, I'll, I'll highlight this, the number of people that saw your ad in a search result before clicking on your photo. We'll take a look at, uh, let's see, 90s glasses here as an example. We had one visit from 1,002 impressions, all right? So our click ratio is 1,002, right? So basically for every 1,002 people, one person is going to click on our photo. Another one, an even better one, vintage glasses frames. This is a really good keyword for us. We had 1,276 impressions and we had nine visits. So that means our click ratio was 142. So after 142 people saw our, or saw one of our products in a search result, it was clicked on. We really need to increase the number of people who visit our pages after viewing our photos. All right, so that's what the click ratio is gonna show you. It's gonna show you which of these keywords you're performing better in or worse in, right? Depending on the number here. Um, so, as you can see, uh, we have a lot of impressions on um, on very generic terms, right? So our, our impressions here are a lot, but these are generic. Glasses, frames, 80s glasses, vintage, right? Now, we want to find uh, ways that we can generate more visits from our impressions. And as you can see, if you scroll down, I put a lot of my keywords in here. As you can see, the lower we go, right? the more specific the keyword gets and the more clicks that we do generate from that or the, the click ratio is better, right? So in all of these um, keyword searches, you'll see, for example, thick frames, right? In this one, we only had 47 people actually search for thick frames on Etsy. Um, however, two of those 47 did find our product and click in right? They wanted to see what we had for sale. So that means one of every 24 people that viewed that listing is going to click on our item. 
So that's a really, really good click ratio, I think. However, not many people are going to search for these terms, right? All these terms down here are in the blue. I made blue um, anything a click ratio less than 50, right? So all of these super, super specific keywords, yeah, you're going to get a really good uh, click ratio, but you're not going to have many people coming to your store or to your product pages. And what we want to make sure to do is bring as many people to our product pages as we possibly can. And I think we can really do that in a sweet spot of um, searches or impressions. So what I have done is I have uh, highlighted for you here in this field, in our impressions field, any impression that's over 200 a month, right? So these totals are all by month, okay? If you have over 200 a month, we're gonna be more concerned with that. And as you get higher, over 500 and over 1,000, you'll see where all of your impressions are coming from. So if we keep going over um, more to this click-through ratio, the ones in red, these are poorly performing uh, keywords, all right? And we're not really going to worry about these because they're, they're not performing that well, and it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of energy to try and move up uh, these keywords to get them uh, to perform better. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and hone in on the keywords that are one, performing okay, that we think we can um, better, and two, keywords that are in a large percentage of your listings. So if we go to the next cell over, we'll see percentage of listings, and this is the um, total percentage of your listings that use that keyword. So for the purposes of our analyzer, and I put these in purple here, right, they're all highlighted in purple, we're really only going to look at items in your store that have over 40% within a keyword. For example, we're gonna look at swatch watches. Now, this is really good. Uh, we've got quite a few impressions, all right? The click ratio is kind of okay. However, only 1% of our listings will fall into this category or into this search. So we really are not gonna worry about this because you know there's only 1% of our listings. What are we gonna do with that, right? Maybe we can only sell a few products before uh, this keyword is no longer good. So we're going to try and stay away from that. What I want to stick with is listings that show up f with 40 or more percent of your total listings. We want to make sure that we really leverage those because that is the bulk majority of your store. So that is the percentage of listings column. And the last one is the golden searches. Now these are the keywords that I have decided that I want to focus my energy on. By doing so, I think I can influence the largest percentage of products that I have in my store with the greatest chance of having those products be raised up in their position on Etsy. Now, uh, the higher the position or the closer to the top of the first page you can get, the better chances you have of someone clicking on your item and eventually making a purchase. The whole point of this analyzer is to make it so that the majority of your listings move up in their position. And we're gonna try and do this um, by focusing on keywords and search queries uh, to help us, help us do that, right? We wanna get more people visiting, we wanna get more impressions, we wanna get a better position on Etsy, and of course, we wanna sell more products. We got a surprise ending for this one, folks. Uh, got a little too long, so we're going to separate this into a few different parts. Um, so in the next video, we are going to take your analytics from your Etsy page, stick them in the analyzer, and see what data we can come up with. So we'll see you on the next one. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day.